Hello friends, Adam here with FED. So we recently crossed 14,000 subs on this channel, and we also crossed about 500 subs at the time of me recording this on the second channel, Adam Henderson, which there'll be a link to in the description. Please go subscribe to it, or at least just check it out. We're playing Bravely Default 2 over there and talking about it over there right now. But with the recent success and the, the channels growing, it's been really exciting. And I wanted to do kind of like a not like a, a little bit of a celebration of everything. Uh, we're doing an, an Ask Me Anything in AMA, just a Q&A. Uh, the questions are coming from all of you who posted a question underneath a community post that I uh, put up a few days ago. So at the time of recording this, I think we have about like 40-ish comments on here. And I'm going to go through all of them and answer them all. And I hope that you guys are satisfied with the answers I give. So, we're just going to go from uh, the first one posted to the last. So, we have Bry Guy who says, do you have a favorite Fire Emblem character? And I don't know if I have a favorite character. I do have a, like a favorite pair, a few favorite pairings of characters. Like characters that interact well together and I think are fun to, to read. Uh, like Grey and Tobin from Fire Emblem Echo Shadows of Valentia are, are two of my favorites. I also really like, I guess, like singular characters. I like Oscar from Path of Radiance a lot. Less so in Radiant Dawn because he doesn't do as much in Radiant Dawn. Uh, but in Path of Radiance, he's awesome. I'm a big fan of, you know, Liar, even though she really isn't a character. <laughs> She's just a, you know, a, a, a unit. Less of a character, more of a unit. She doesn't have a whole lot going on story-wise. But I think she's really cool, and I like to use her in my runs. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's what it would come down to. I think my favorite characters are like Oscar and then Gray and Tobin with a special shout out to Liar. All right. Mr. Snazzy just literally says Schnaz Schnazzy uh, asked if you could remove one thing from every fire emblem game going forward, what would you pick and why? So, so I'm assuming this is just like a feature that I would remove from the games, something that I don't like. And if I'm being honest, it would be, it's honestly kind of a big thing, but it'd be a lot of the in-between battles stuff. And I know that's kind of the appeal to a lot of, a lot of fans who picked it up with, uh, with fates and, and especially three houses, the in-between battle stuff, the, the, the monastery, the talking and supports, all that different stuff. That's really appealing to a lot of people, but it's not for me. And I would love a more traditional Fire Emblem that focused on, you know, having one solid, clean narrative and just awesome, just an awesome uh, gameplay loop of just a little bit of story, gameplay, a little bit of story, gameplay, and not so much of the in-between. So, oh, hello, Milo. <clears throat> All right, next we have a question from Chantel Douglas who says, have you played the Persona series or Dragon Quest series? Please play them. They're great RPGs. Uh, I haven't played either of them. Uh, I've been interested in Dragon Quest Persona less so. Persona just doesn't look like my kind of game, if I'm being honest. Dragon Quest looks really fun, though, and I should and I should pick it up at some point. Uh, maybe I will someday on the second channel. Uh, but for now, I, I don't really have any plans to, like, any, like anytime soon. Joe Schmo 102 asks... Where do babies come from? Uh, <laughs> uh, why don't you Why don't you go ask uh, Go ask a, a, a family member or a close friend that question, friend. Uh, that's not really one I'm going to answer. <laughs> Next from Malachi Durant, you should do a video on advice for parents, but frame it as an FE4 pairing guide. Now I don't really know how I would go about that. That's a funny idea, and I'm not really the one to ask for parenting advice. I'm. It's not like I'm some sort of crazy expert at it, being a parent. I don't know if anyone's a crazy expert at being a parent, but that's funny. All right, from Heath12, <clears throat> are you a cat or a dog person? Definitely a dog person. Cats are mean, standoffish. Maggie, are you a cat or dog person? Dog. Sorry, she's on the other side of the room. She's coming over here. Dog person? Dog. You had a cat though, right? Yeah, growing up I always had a cat. If we were showing a video, though, I'd, I'd show off Milo. Yeah, but we love... Yeah, we have Milo. You guys already heard... Oh, yeah, I, so I have no dislikes towards cats. I love them both, but if I had to have one and only one as a pet, 
it would be dog every time. Yeah. 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 I don't like cats. I've had bad experiences with cats. Not in like a, I've been like hurt by cats, but they're just not very friendly. The ones I've been around. Maggie says that there are friendly cats, but I haven't met very many. So, or any. <laughs> so I'm a dog person all the way. Are, are you going to sit here and, and talk? I don't know how many, a lot of the questions are honestly like fire emblem related. Yeah. Are there any others that aren't? Um, here, I'll quickly scan uh, for some. Okay. Uh, broccoli on pizza. Heck no, techno, but I did see the pineapple on pizza, and to that I say, heck yes. Okay. Pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapeno is my pizza of choice. All right, then. It's called a... It's a Hot and spicy. No, sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. Hot and spicy, those are the same. The same thing. Sweet and spicy. Yeah, I'm a, definitely a yes with pineapple on pizza. I've never had broccoli on pizza that I can think of. It probably isn't that bad. Uh, oh, here's a question for you. Who is Maggie? And, and the follow-up is, how is Maggie? And finally, why yeah, is, Maggie. is Maggie? So who is Maggie? Me. Okay. That would be, uh, if, if really, if you're truly asking, then you probably don't watch Adam's streams, and I am Adam's wife. So that's from Jack Diaz, by the way. And H asks, how is Maggie? I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. How are you today, H? And from Light We, why is Maggie? The question my parents ask every day. <laughs> it's messed up. <laughs> Hashtag mistake. Oh, uh, you weren't. Were you a mistake? Yeah. Oh. Well, I wouldn't say mistake, but maybe not planned would be the appropriate answer. Okay. Uh, probably Nick asked, who's a, who's a close friend of ours. I responded to him on there. Uh, really, he asked, "When are you going to hang? When are we going to hang out again so I can beat you and Maggie in Pokemon Kingdom, which is a game that we played a lot in high school." Uh, I guess Maggie also already responded. Yep, I said, "Anytime, and I'll beat you at Pokemon Kingdom." Yeah, Maggie's undefeated, so it's messed up. Have you ever traveled? And if you've traveled, where? This is a good one for Maggie because her story is, her traveling is much more interesting than mine. Yeah, so I think you specifically asked out of the country. Yeah, he says I'm not looking at it, but yeah, I, it says internationally. I've read the comments. Um, yes, but only in the past two years. So up until two years ago, I had never left the United States, and then two years ago, I started walk, working for an event planner who did events all over. So now I've been to Mexico three or four times. I think four times. I think four times. Uh-huh. And then I've been to Barcelona, Spain, and London, England. Yeah, so Maggie has is relatively well traveled compared to many. Kind of for for work. It was all for work. I so. didn't. Yeah, and, and the thing is, like, yeah, I I got really lucky, and I hope to be able to travel us in the mm-hmm. future. Uh, but I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I had to do that. So mm-hmm. it was it was really cool. Yeah, I, I've been to answer the question. I've also been to Mexico a few times with me, with Maggie, and also with Your like b- b- like with my family growing up. Um, once, and I've been to Canada once. I've never been to Canada. Nah, you're not missing much. The money is smells like maple apparently <laughs> now though. That's pretty cool. Milo, shut up. Uh, Maggie, what's your favorite video game of all time? Hurry. Mm, Super Mario Brothers. Okay. Uh, how long have you... I know that's lame. It's okay, guys. No, it's it's fine. How long have you and Maggie been together? Oh, gosh. It's like 11 years now? 10 years? 10-ish years. 10-ish years. But married for four... Almost four. Almost four. Yeah, we've been married for almost four years. We've been dating engaged whatever for 10 for 10 issues yeah that's weird. that's a decade adam i know it's a long freaking time holy cow wow met a long time ago yeah we we're almost to the point where we've known each other for more of our lives than, than not. not that's crazy all right and i think this is the last question uh for you maggie i'm really okay. <laughs> sorry to make you sit here awkwardly no i'm happy um but then and for all you people who are interested in 
the video game questions. He'll get uh, back to that. We'll get back to that. Sorry to bore you. No. Uh, from JB, uh, who asks, if you and Maggie could be any class, and I assume any class from Fire Emblem, what would you be? I would be an archer. Why? Because I think it's dope. Cool. And also, I think that, you know, to be able to, to do damage from further away, like, get close enough to the action, but not be in the action. Not be in, da- not be in super immediate danger all the time? Yeah, it just uh, feels right for me. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I would, like, if we were talking what class I would be, I would probably be one of those villagers that has zero in all stats. <laughs> Like I'd be, I'd be I'd be a Thracia seven seven six villager with ten HP and zero across the board, um, but if I could choose a class, I think one of the flying ones would be cool. Like if I once I got comfortable with the idea of flying on an, not an airplane, you know what I mean? Because like sitting on top of a dragon and flying, what if you fall off? It's freaking you're dead. Haven't you ever seen the Never Ending Story? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a flying dragon, pretty much, and the kids are on it. That's uh, all. Oh, cool the story. Uh, but yeah, I think I would choose like Wyvern Rider because flying on a dragon would be pretty cool. And then I could have my dragon eat people that I didn't like. It's kind of like Mario. Riding Yoshi? Yeah. <laughs> Is Yoshi a dragon or a dinosaur? Yes. <laughs> Is it a dragon dinosaur? Yeah, it is, that's splitting a hairs. A dragosaur. A dragosaur. That is splitting hairs at that point. All right, well... Do you have anything you want to say before you leave? You don't have to leave. You can stay right here if you want, but I imagine you want to leave. Yeah, I'm going to dip out, but I enjoyed asking or answering some of the questions that I can answer. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. I will uh, let you get back to the fun stuff. Okay. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> All right, now that the women are gone, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. <clears throat> Where were we on this list here? Did that one. Uh, Subaki asked, what is your favorite Fire Emblem and what character from any title would you want in Smash? My favorite Fire Emblem is probably Radiant Dawn. It's the game that I can play. I, I, it's like my comfort game. I can play it over and over again. And I never really get bored of it. And it's really calming for me. To the point where I know it well enough that I don't really have to stress about things. Like, every now and again, I'll get a, like a surprise crit or something will happen. But for the most part, I know the game well enough that I can just kind of coast, even on hard mode. So, it's really, I, I, I like it a lot. Um, what character from any title would you want in Smash? Give me, like, I don't know, Makai would be cool. Obviously, from Radiant Dawn. It's, like, kind of the one I'm talking about. Um, but... Like, realistic chances... Actually, I can't think of any that I want that are, like, realistic... But, I don't know. Actually, never mind. I can't think of any, like, realistic ones. It'd be cool to get a Lagoose, like, thinking about it. Like, to Barn or something. And, like, have his attacks involve him, like, transforming or something while he attacks or something. That'd be cool. But, ultimately, it's just... Get, any Fire Emblem characters we're going to get in Smash are just going to be main characters from games that are coming out so that they can sell stuff. You know what I mean? And that's fine, but it's kind of disappointing when you think of it that way. Maybe so, may, maybe someone from an older game like Leaf would be really dope. Um, give me a truer truer version of Roy. The, the, the new Roy in Melee is like pretty true to form in my opinion, but like new Roy, he's like a freaking man. It's like looks like a twenty five year old man and screams like one too. Roy's supposed to be like fifteen, dude. What the heck? But honestly, like a, like a pure magic user would probably be my favorite kind of idea. Again, like like a Makaya or even like a like a, a Lewin or Sed kind of thing. But yeah, those aren't going to happen. Favorite character design. This is from Mick237. They asked a few questions, so I'll, I'll go through them all. Favorite character design? Ooh. I am a big fan of... This is really specific. I'm a big fan of Ike's uh, art, I- Ike's portrait in the epilogue of Path of Radiance. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look it up. It's like a mix of his uh, first, his starting class portrait, and then his promoted class portrait, 
and like they mix it together and he looks really like confident but also looks like kind of rough like rough and tumble i don't know i, I think it looks really good and it, it works really really well um so that's, that's the one that came to mind instantly and i can't and then the, again echoes there's a lot of them that are really good um all it's great Sel- selica and echoes is probably one of my favorites makaya her makaya is tier one and tier two classes or tier three is weird but those are great uh, i don't really care for any of them in three houses all that much I'm trying to think i can't think of any off the top of my head that i really like um in the earlier games i'm a huge fan of marita i think her design's super cool i think she looks like really dope and and I, I wish it was like an actual thing but in her portrait in game she has like heterochromia it's like two different eye colors i wish that was like an actual like thing that they would have run with but it's not in the official art or in heroes or anything i also like um nana in thracia 776 as well and homer oh that actually never mind homer takes the cake i think it's homer from thracia 776 I was just thinking of like different character arts and stuff, and his is so dope. And he's a purple sage. Once he promotes and stuff too, so like even that is dope. Yeah. All right, most fun class to use depends on the game. Uh, in general, it's probably something like Wyvern Lord or. Um, oh, I'm always a big fan of sages. Well, not always. It depends on the game, but in a lot of instances I am. But I, I tend to like high damage. I, I tend to just like being able to deal a lot of damage in one hit like a cool thing to me so yeah doubling and all that's fun too but no nah, i like i like the heavy heavy damage in one hit if you can like if you can one hit ko things that's like the coolest thing to me and that's usually not that very plausible or possible in fire emblem three houses has kind of spoiled me on that because it's much more likely there but yeah all right and then finally last question from mick 237 they ask most stupidly overpowered item character or class um most stupidly overpowered character is it's like Rob, probably robin from awakening um a less and then like like sigurd from genealogy of the holy war then then you even think of characters like seth and titania of course um har is another har from radiant dawn is another great one but yeah there's a lot of overpowered characters and those are just to name a few Overpowered items, dude. I don't know. Probably the one of the more overpowered items I can think of is the Thursa staff from Three Houses, actually, which is a really good one. Or the is it the Mage Ring in Echoes? I can't remember which it is. I think it's the Mage Ring. It's the one that gives it's it, it's basically the same effect as Thursa, just a bunch of extra range. I think that's really valuable on a mage. And the most over stupidly overpowered class, uh, it's probably just like. Raiding on Wyvern Lord or something like that is what comes to mind. Or just Paladin in the GBA games or something. I, I don't really have a great answer for that one. Because it's less about the class in, in many instances and more about the character. And, and their, person, their personal stats and all that and their personal attributes. But just like in general, Flyers are usually really good. Especially, again, especially Wyverns, who generally have pretty de- pretty good damage output while also being able to fly. But, again, that's, that's one that also depends on the game. Because, like, you could argue that, you know, staff users are overpowered in 3C776. Um, but, you know, if you were to try to make that argument for, like, Radiant Dawn, that's not a very good one. So, it's hard to say. That one's a, that one's a tough, tough one. Oh, sorry, excuse me. All right, next from Denver Gaiden, who says, Do you have a Dream Tactics game you would like to create? If so, could you briefly share your vision? So I, I, I have thought, I've actually thought about this quite a bit. And if I someday have the opportunity to, uh, you know, develop a game like that, like, I would love that. That's like, a, that is a dream of mine. It would be so cool. Um. I th- sorry, Maggie just peeked in at me. Um, <clears throat> but as far as so, I, I don't have like a name for it or anything. Of course, like I'm not. I don't have like super specifics. But like briefly, my vision. I want the 
class customization of at the class system of like a, a Final Fantasy Tactics, um, you know, balanced out a little more. Maybe make uh, unit progression more like something in uh, like Bravely Default. Even I'm playing through that right now, so that's a fresh on the mind. But make like job, like learning skill progression more like that rather than how it is in uh, in Tactics. Um, I like. I would want the really simple, easy to calculate stats of Fire Emblem, because that's a thing that I. That's a big problem I have with a lot of RPGs where um, things aren't easily calculatable. Calculable. I don't know how to say that. But there's th- like how much damage you're gonna do, and th- and then it's like you can get high rolls and low rolls, all that stuff. That that just drives me nuts, As- especially after like coming from Fire Emblem, where. Um, everything is so set in stone, like this much defense, this much, uh, attack, you're, you're going to do this much damage no matter what, like this is how much damage you're going to do unless you crit or something or you miss and the critting and missing. I'm okay with that being in there. That's some, some random elements are fine, but like dealing a random amount of damage is so infuriating to me because it's like, Oh, well I'll, I'll win this battle if I get a medium or high roll. But it's like, oh, I got a low roll, therefore I, I now have to wait another turn or I'm going to lose or something. That's just the biggest pain to me. So I like the simple stats. They're low and easy to, uh, to to look at and just do quick mental math. That's really big to me. So I want – so custom – but then on the, other, on the other side of things, that's like one vision I have. The other side of things, I would love a very rigid game. And by rigid, I mean very defined characters that have very set in stone class paths uh, so that you can develop your game around the characters and make it, the early game becomes, more, you can make it more puzzle-like. Something like uh, a New Mystery of the Emblem, the prologue, very puzzle-like, right? And I think that's very interesting. And that's something that I would like to see as well. I, there's merit in both, and I think there's replay value in both too. Uh, if, if you make all, if you make every character usable to some degree and have like maybe some sort of niche, then I think it's very, uh, it's a very okay to have a very rigid progression for each character. But on the other side of things, it's it's also a lot of people love the replayability of like three houses on replayability. You have to play part one every time, which is a pain, but like characters, you can build them completely differently every single playthrough and people really like that. So I, I, my, my, my vision for my dream tactics game goes in two different directions, very rigid and puzzle like, and very open and do whatever you want. Sandbox like, so both are fine. Both would be fun. And the more I think about it, the more I like the rigid idea. Thinking of something like Berwick Saga. So, yeah. I don't know. Sorry, that was all over the place. And if I, I would really need to sit down and really think about it to give you uh, give you my actual thoughts on that. All right. Next, from David Escobar Torero. Uh, they ask, favorite Fire Emblem final boss uh, soundtrack. So, do you mean like the, the when you're actually fighting the boss? Um, hmm. That's a tough one. I can't think of a lot of them off the top of my head. Uh, Asherah's is really good in Radiant Dawn, not gonna lie. That one's really good. It's also the map theme, so I don't know if that counts, but if it does, that's probably my favorite. That song is baller. Such, that's such a good, that's just such a good game, man. I love Radiant Dawn. Um... Trying to think of like Harden. Harden has a really great. I, I know he's not technically the final boss, but he's kind of the final boss. Harden's is really good as well. Those are probably I think those are the two picks I'm gonna go with. Alright, friends. Well that's the end of part one. If you want to watch part two, you need to go head over to my other channel, F E D, where we talk about fire emblem and stuff. Uh, the second half is definitely very fire emblem heavy, so I thought it'd be more appropriate to put that half on that side. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it.
make sure to subscribe to this channel. We crossed 500 subs a couple days ago, which is really exciting. So onward and upward to 600, 700, and, and beyond. So please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and share them in the comments. Um, I will do my best to answer them uh, there. Or if I get enough response, maybe we'll do a second video. Anyways, again, for part two, head over to FED. The link will be in the description to that video. And I'll catch you there, and I'll see you guys later.